Lecture number seven. Working with layers of the editor Adobe Photoshop. Draw a plan of the lesson. Number one, general concepts of layers. Number two, operations with layers. And the number three, the course of working with effects and layers. There are some references for you. You can read them if you want to know some more information. Working with layers. A Photoshop layer is like a sheet of transparent film similar to ones used for an overhead projector. When you stack films or layers together, you will be able to see through the transparent part and not be able to see through the parts with content. You can move, rotate and manipulate a single layer without affecting any others. You can also change the opacity of transparency of the lawyer to make the content partially visible. Uh, working with layers. Each individual layer stacked layers. You can look at these pictures. Layers. Layers let you organize your, your work into distinct levels that can be edited and viewed as individual units. Every Photoshop CC document contains at least one layer. Creating multiply layers lets you easily control how your artwork is printed, displayed and edited. You will use the layers palette often while creating a document, so it is crucial to understand what it does and how to use it. So we can look at this picture and there are some text. A. Layer menu. B. Filter option. C. Is blending mode. D. Master opacity. E. Locking controls. F. Fill opacity. G. Active layer. H. Group. I. Lawyer thumbnail. And uh, J. Lawyer name. K. Show or hide layer. L. Locked layer, M, background layer, N, link layers, O, layer styles, P, add layer mask, Q, new adjustment layer, R, new group, S, new layer, and T, delayed layer. Layer menu gives you additional comments and options. Filter options helps you find key lawyers in complex document quickly. Blending mode controls know how layers work with one another. Master opacity controls the opacity of a layer. Locking controls allows you to lock various parts of a layer to prevent editing. Fill opacity controls just the fill opacity of a layer, not the stroke. When you are working in a particle layer, it will become an active layer. A folder icon will appear on layers that are in a group. Layer thumbnail shows you a smaller view of just uh, that layer. Layer name can be changed to help organize and maintain new layers. Show and hide layer makes a layer visible or invisible. A lock icon will appear on a locker layer. Background layer is a bottom layer in your panel. Link layers links multiply layers so you can move the content in them together. Layer styles add effects or drop shadow, bevel and emboss and etc. to your layers. Add layers mask allows control of particular pixels that you select within a layer. And new adjustment layer provides image adjustments to all visible layers under them. New groups layers together to help you organize and manage them. Add a new layer, name your layer and click OK. If you no longer want a layer, then you can delete it. So A is layer visibility. It is the eye shows that the selected layer is visible. 
Click on or off to see or to hide a layer. B. Loyal locking options. Click the check red square icon to lock transparency. Click the brush icon to lock the image and click the arrow icon to lock the position. And click the lock icon to lock all options. C. Lawyer blending mode. Defines how the lawyer pixels blend with interlying pixels in the image. By choosing a particular blending mode from the drop down menu, you can create a variety of special effects. D. Fill. By tapping in a value or dragging the slider, you can specify the transparency. E. Opacity. By typing in a value or dragging the slider, you can specify the transparency of the entire layer. J. Layer Mask. Allows you to hide certain parts of the layer, which you can be revealed by using the paintbrush and the white paint color to expose portions of the layer. K. Lawyer said this option helps to organize images with multiple layers. Click the icon to create a folder for several layers. L. Create new fill or adjustment layer. Have the same opacity and blending mode options as image layers and can be rearranged, deleted, hidden and duplicated in the same manner as image layers. Click the icon and select the option to create a new fill or adjustment layer. M. Create new layer. Click this icon to create a new layer. F. Layer lock. The icon shows when the layer is locked and disappears when it is unlocked. Double click the icon to unlock the layer. G. Loyal Options menu. Click the black triangle to display the following options new layer, duplicate layer, delete layer, layer properties, and etc. Some of the options are presented as icons at the bottom of the layer's palette. H. Link layers can be used to link layers together. I. Layer styles if a layer has a style, and F icon shows at the bottom of the layer's palette. Click the little back triangle to see style options. N. Delete layer. To delete the layer, select a layer in the layer's palette and drag it to the trash can icon. Or select a layer and click the icon. If you use to adopt a product such as Illustrator or InDesign, you can should be familiar with the toolbox in Adobe Photoshop CC as it shares some of the tools from these applications. If you are a new user of Adobe Photoshop products, you should keep in mind that you might not need to use all of the tools. In this tutorial, only the basic tools will be discussed in depth. Creating a new layer via card or copy. Select the part of the image to put onto a layer. Right click the selection to display the context menu. Click layer via cut or copy to create the new layer. Naming and coloring a layer. Click the layers panel menu button to display the menu. Click layer properties. Type the name and set the color or double click or the layer name and right click the visibility icon. Naming and coloring a layer, you can look at these pictures. There is an example. Hiding and showing a layer. Click the indicate layer visibility button to the left of the layer. Icon looks like an eye or alt click the button to show only that layer and alt click again to display all layers. Hiding and showing a layer. Arranging the documents windows. On the application bar, click the arrange documents button to display its list. 
Click the desired button in the list to arrange the multiply documents windows. Consolidating windows. Right click the tab at the top of the document window to display the context menu. Click Consolidate All to here to view only that document window. Moving the image from one file to another. Activate the Move to shortcut V and drag the image from one window and then drop it in the other window. Positioning a layer. With the layer selected on the Layers panel and the Move tool selected on the Tool panel, drag the layer to the desired location. You can see this in this picture. Creating a layer mask. Mask conceals a portion of the layer, like a temporary delay. Click the Add Layer Mask button on the Layers panel status bar to create a layer mask. If necessary, press the X key to choose black over white. Drag with the brush over the area you wish to temporarily delete. Creating a lawyer mask, you can see this in this picture. Correcting a masking error. Press the X key to switch the foreground and foreground colors. Drag Drag uh, across the desired portion of the object to unmask it. The Masks panel. Click Window, choose Masks to the Open Masks panel. Making an opacity change to a layer. Select the desired layer in the Layers panel. On the Layers panel, point to the word Opacity and then drag the scrap bit slider to the left until the opacity box displays the desired value, making an opacity change to layer. There are some questions for you. Number one, general concepts of layers. Number two, operations with layers. Number three, the course of working with effects and layers. Number four, how to you organize layers in Photoshop? Number five, how to create a transparent background in Photoshop? Number six, what is a busy curve? And then number seven, what is gradients? Thank you for attention. Nazarlan Zgarahmed, the end.